Surf's up. Today we're installing this. I'm Justin and this is Hoosman Bros. Before we go too much further, subscribe because what we do here is we build cars, we take cars off road, we review cars, we just do car things. So please subscribe for more of that type of thing. But this isn't a surfboard, it's actually a rock rail for our Cayenne Turbo S. So we are building a Cayenne Turbo S to sell on Bring a Trailer. We thought that it would be smart to put some rock rails on this thing because we're building it with all kinds of off-road goodies on it. So let's get started installing this and we'll show you how it's done. As Justin mentioned, these are OEM rock rails directly from Porsche. You do have to remove the existing plastic panel. It, this is from the other side, but the point is there's just a few fasteners. It uses a T20 Torx, um, and it's pretty easy to get, get to. You do, however, have to take off the rear wheel to access the rear mud flap. Just for reference, it's an M10. So this, this is the, uh, one of the stock uh, uh, lifting points for the, for the jack. So we had to remove it because the new, um, the new rock rails actually have uh, they're built in uh, lift points. We will not be re reusing this, so we'll just chunk it. You might be able to see this, what I'm, I'm padding on right here. This is a, a supplemental air tank for the air suspension system. And our challenge here is that um, it's in the way. So we're going to have to remove this bracket here. We'll probably just lay it on top of this, just uh, this, this cross member, just to keep it out of the way. We'll, I'll put something soft under it so it doesn't move because I'll need to have access to these, these bolts, but the, these bolts here will need to be um, removed and then I will need to, uh, once again, let's, let's get this out of the way and we'll figure out kind of what's next, so. Next, we're gonna go to the middle and there's a couple of uh, places for this bracket. So we'll do that next. This piece here, uh, you can see it looks kind of like a bolt pattern and it's built to go up into a stamp that's up in the frame. And then on the inside, there's a collar and then inside there are threads. So what this does is takes a, a hole and actually creates threads inside that hole. We'll just take that and we'll just tap it. Those nuts are tin. One. Two, three, test fit the bracket. <clears throat> so these are the two holes that we're gonna have access to. So this bracket's gonna go up in here just like so. So test fit, works. The nuts are actually do kind of want to fall out just because there's there's nothing, they have not started to, to compress yet from from, be, from behind. So what we need to do is run the run these these uh, these bolts in kind of where they're flush like I'm doing right now, as we start to screw the bolt, it will start to squish the nut cert behind it. So after this now, you can see we've got all of our brackets mounted. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and put the, um, the, the rock rail and test fit it. We just wanna see where everything kinda lines up. I'm not so worried about like this here, this one here, this one here, these here, the ones in the front. I am concerned about this particular one just to see if there's a, a fitting for that. And there's also another fitting in front. I want to see if I need to remove that as well. So what you see under here is the installed uh, rock rail. Um, one of the nice things about it, it's very solid. It, it weighs, you know, quite a bit of weight. Now, is it for extreme off-roading? No, but it's for, for most of the usage that a Cayenne is going to do. It's more than adequate and it's really, really stout. So to, do, to install these, we first had to remove the plastic uh, covers. There are a few fittings. There's some fasteners up at the front. There's some fasteners in the middle, and there's a few in the back. Um, you will have to take off the small uh, mud flap that's on, on the back that does have to come out. Once again, it's real easy. Once you get in there and remove that mud flap, it actually uncovers a lot of the different uh, uh, mounting areas where you will be mounting this new rock rail. So Porsche provides you with three brackets. There's a front bracket that goes in here, there's a middle bracket here, and then there's one that goes towards the back. Um, it's very apparent where they go. Uh, they can only go in one spot and in one way. Now, to install this, there's a, there is a small air tank that's mounted right about here. You do have to simply remove the air tank. You're not gonna disconnect it. You're just gonna remove it and move it to the side uh, because you do need access to a couple of the bolts that the air tank is connected to to complete the mounting of the brackets for this, for, you know, at the front of the, uh, at, at the, front of the rock rail. Um, the rest is very, very straightforward. 
One other thing that Porsche does is they is when you actually start to look at this, you'll actually see that Porsche uh, pre-stamped um, areas for bolts to go in. So they actually engineered the car for this particular rock rail. And so that was nice. We didn't have to do any drilling. Uh, we didn't have to do any, any fabrication. It all just mounted in. You can see there's uh, some, there's basically bolts here. There's three on that are on the inside of the, uh, tor pointing towards the inside of the car. There's uh, a cup, there's um, bolts up at the front where it, where it mounts to the chassis. There's two here, there's two in the front, one, two in the middle, and two in the rear. There's a total of about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's about 15 bolts per side. Um, and once again, Porsche does give you sleeves to mount, for instance, the bolts here and the bolts here. So now we're gonna move over to the other side, the passenger side. It's a very, very sim similar assembly or installation process. The difference is you had an air tank on this side. Uh, on the passenger side, you actually do have the compressor. Now, you do have to, to undo the compressor bolts. You're gonna reuse all of those bolts or, or those fittings to uh, insert the new mount for the front of the rock rail, but you're not gonna disconnect the compressor. Um, you're not really even gonna move it. You're just gonna simply remove those bolts to have access to where you're gonna mount the, the front mount for the, for, that, for the rock rail. So we just finished up the side. This is the passenger side rock rail. Um, we did go in and, and we had to loosen the bolts where the compressor mounts. Once again, this is an easy job, um, provided you can really get under it. Uh, you don't really need, if, if the car's lifted like ours, you actually technically don't need to put it up on the lift. I did use the lift, as you saw, to simply raise these up and put them in the proper position. It kind of helped because I didn't have an extra set of hands. I mean, if I had an extra set of hands, we probably could have done it too. But this is one of the easier and one of the nicer mods that you can do your, your 957 uh, a 955 Cayenne. So just to wrap up, as I mentioned, it's a super easy job. I like to quote things in what I call wheels up to wheels down. Um, I found it's about a two hour job. That would include the time to remove the old uh, plastic covers, uh, to install the brackets along the rail where you need to, um, then locate and then fit all of the bolts. It's a super easy job. Anybody can do it. Helps you have an extra pair of hands just to hold the um, bracket while you're aligning the holes. But as I mentioned, once you start, once you get a couple of holes aligned, it's super easy. You just cinch everything down and make sure it's, uh, uh, as, as we like to say, the German spec, good and tight. So that's it for installing the rock rails. I hope that was helpful. There are no instructions for how to install these because they're a factory part. So we hope that if you purchase these on our recommendation that you were able to get them installed with our video. Thanks for watching. And as always, please subscribe for more content.